CFM 56 Manual Stowing of the Pivoting Blocker Door Before closing the blocker door, obey all safety precautions in accordance to the aircraft maintenance manual and make sure that the thrust reverser system is deactivated at the hydraulic control unit. Remove the safety sleeve from the blocker door actuator. Now, push in on the blocker door until you hear the latch engaging and make sure that the blocker door is flush with the thrust reverser cowl structure. Maintenance tip. Use one of the pivoting blocker door lockout bolts if you are not able to push the door completely into the closed and locked position with your hands. Remove the lockout fairing from the pivoting blocker door. Insert the lockout bolt and tighten it until you hear the blocker door latch lock. Make sure that the blocker door is flush with the thrust reverser cowl structure and remove the lockout bolt. After removal of the lockout bolt, reinstall the lockout fairing and torque it in accordance to the values given in the AMM. Reinstall the lockout bolt into the bracket position and torque it in accordance to the AMM. Put the thermal blanket on the blocker door latch. Turn the Zeus fastener on the blanket a quarter turn to lock it. Make the thrust reverser serviceable in accordance to the AMM. Make sure that the work area is clear of tools and other items. Close the fan cowl doors and remove the warning notices in the cockpit. This completes the manual stowing procedure of the pivoting blocker door.